Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And this is for my Cancers. So if you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising, something in this reading is for you. We have the Three of Wands in reverse, the Judgment card, Ace of Swords, and the Empress. I'll go ahead and clarify those and then we'll get into what they mean. Three of Wands in reverse is clarified by the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So up until now, you've mostly been listening to your intuition and that's been getting you exactly where you want to go. There's no issues there, but things are about to start getting a little bit less intuitive and it's really going to call for you to lean on the hard skills that you've learned, like more of your earthly skills. So make sure that you're keeping that balance. And I actually think that's what the title is going to be. I just feel like I'm taking too long to write. It's literally like 10 seconds or something. I don't know. I have a poor concept of time, so I really have no idea. Judgment, though, is clarified by the chariot. With these being major arcanas, they're letting you know that this is a pivotal point in time for you. So these next seven days, make sure that you're really paying attention to the decisions you make. Things can really go either way. Your judgment call is going to be very important. So again, your intuition has gotten you this far. Definitely pay attention to your intuition, but spirit is also wanting you to lean more on research because that's going to strengthen your intuition and the way that you're able to hear your spirit team. So when they communicate with you, they can only use like words and phrases, concepts that you've already heard at some point in time. So the more you know, the better you're able to communicate with the spiritual realm. That goes not just for like concepts, but for languages, because more than likely there's going to be people that are on your spirit team or spirits, energies on your spirit team that don't speak English. Ace of Swords clarified by the lovers in reverse. There's something, some, some resistance in you that's telling you if you don't just lean on intuition, you're going to make worse decisions. Spirit is letting you know that that's not something that you have to worry about. Um, so when you do inevitably make a mistake just because people make mistakes no matter what, don't make that have you thinking that it's because you switched your method up. That is just the natural flow of things. You making mistakes because people just make mistakes. So have confidence in yourself too. And then Empress, clarified by the star in reverse, is a reminder that you do have everything you need inside you already. You just have to have faith and believe that that's true. Let's get a word of the week for you guys. Word of the week for my Cancers. And you got humility. I want to say it was Sagittarius that also got humility. So if you also have Sagittarius placements, uh, make sure that you check that video out too. Or if you're heavily engaged with somebody who's a Sagittarius, it might help you to still watch that. But so they're calling my attention more to the fact that there's the dandelion plant on this. And it's letting you know that it's going to be important for you to stay grounded for you to make your better decisions as well. Because you're going to be a little bit more paranoid than normal just because, again, you're switching up your method and it's something that was working for you. So it's kind of like if it ain't broke, don't fix it is the mindset. So you're going to be more paranoid to circumvent that or whatever. I'm not sure if that's the right word. But Spirit is saying just make sure that you're taking extra care to be grounded. Something from your angels. Something from your angels. Okay. You have hold your vision and nothing will come of this situation. 
So the hold your vision is again about having faith in yourself and the fact that you doing research and relying less on your intuition will not lead you astray. And the nothing will come to this situation is a reminder that little mistakes are just that, little mistakes. And they want you to be learning right now. So you're not going to have hugely terrible consequences from these little mistakes. And we'll get something from your ancestors and we'll get out of here. Awakening. Sisterhood and share your voice. So this awakening and share your voice is a reminder that life is a journey. Figuring out your purpose is a journey. And then actually fulfilling that purpose is another journey all in itself. And you can take people on this journey with you if you want. It's actually better if you do. For some of you, a lot of your purpose has to do with you speaking and communicating your story because other people are going to relate to it and it'll help them out a lot. So make sure that you're not keeping everything a secret. Spirit says for some of you, you know, you're going to feel crazy. You're going to think people will assume that you're crazy with some of this stuff. But you won't find your tribe unless you're the whole you out loud. And that's what this sisterhood of the rose is about. The more authentic you are out loud and the more of you you show online, the more likely it is that you'll find your vibe tribe. So that's what I have for you guys today. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I do go through the entire Zodiac at least once a week. So there will always be something here for you. Um, if you have questions about anything I said or literally anything at all, you can book a reading with me anytime through the link in the bio or the description box. <laughs> all right, y'all. Peace.